look at you. <laughs> I can't see you. <laughs> Big news yesterday. Yes, I finally finished my jigsaw puzzle. It took months. Look at that, huh? <laughs> but also, Johnny Depp won his defamation case against his ex, Amber Heard. Yeah! Oh. Fans of the Depp. <laughs> he wasn't in court, though. He was in London jamming with guitar legend Jeff Beck. I believe we have tape. Solo! Shredding it! Hold on. I got it. Hold on. I'm in what is a hell. Don't do drugs, kids. Because <laughs> they're mine. <laughs> But apparently, when the jurors heard what a turd heard was, it spurred the herd to give her the bird. <laughs> Sorry, I like poetry, because that makes me a nerd. But she crapped the bed in court and in bed. And the jury saw what we saw, that she had a lousy case because she was a lousy liar, which is weird for an actress since she lies for a living. Her job is to pretend to be someone else. Maybe her lawyers should have gotten Scarlett Johansson to play her in court. <laughs> so Amber defamed a dude in one of the worst ways you can. She abused the Me Too movement and probably destroyed what was left of it in the process. She just figured all you got to do is point a finger and click. Believe all women, a sexist would say. But it became obvious that she was so full of crap that she was leaving it in their bed. <laughs> you could see it. We could see it. The jury could smell it. <laughs> or maybe Depp just needed a bath. But you know who couldn't see it? The Washington Post. They published her article that an ACLU lawyer claims was ghostwritten, alluding that Depp was a violent abuser. But what if the Post could see the claim was shaky, but it didn't matter to them? I mean, what's Depp going to do? Sue? You got to wonder, too, how involved the Post was in this. Did they help her and the ACLU goose up her pros? Did they coordinate with her publicity department since she had a movie coming up? But who cares, the Post thought. What's the worst that could happen? And usually, they're right. That's the real lesson here. Would you be able to do what Johnny Depp did if an ex or anyone decided to destroy you in the world of public opinion? Luckily, that may never happen. But what if it did? You know, it happened to me. I still can't believe it. After all, all I did for Hammer. <laughs> But most of us don't have the wherewithal to fight back the way Depp did. It's like falling into a porta potty. You get smeared, you stay smeared, and no one wants to get near you. That's why I'm no longer welcome at construction sites. <laughs> but Depp, he paid for the best lawyers in the world, and he won. So hooray for Johnny Depp. Except, do I really care about him that much? I mean, he's no saint. He even said that about himself. He probably hates Fox. He even joked about killing Trump. And really, you can't make six Pirates of the Caribbean movies and not enjoy torturing people. <laughs> so forget about him for now. The real question is, what about the Washington Post? They were the ones who published this article. Why aren't they named? And shouldn't they be sued too? Someone should get Nick Sandman's lawyer on the phone. Because that's really the only way to stop this crap. Well, that and cutting people's tongues out. But Fox Legal has informed me that I should call that procedure problematic. So Step scored one against cancel culture, and for that, he deserves credit. But what about the press? I bet Ms. Heard likely never had to back her story up with Me Too on her side. And an editor, especially if it's a male one, knew better than to ask if she had any proof. Believe all women, a sexist would say. And they figured they could get by simply by not naming him, obviously knowing everyone would figure it out. It's Johnny Depp, not Governor Huckabee. <laughs> this time. <laughs> Joking. <laughs> Joking. <laughs> that was a joke. But it's like if I said my coworker, my coworker at Fox, who's really cool and fun, but maybe she parties a little too hard. You know, everyone knows. <laughs> it's Kaylee McEnany. No. <laughs> And you wonder why people think media are scum. Actually, you don't wonder. Anybody who has looked up at a TV in the airport gets it. Now Johnny does, too. Maybe he can play Nick Sandman in the movie. There you go. Woo. <laughs>
So Depp's victory feels good, but will it feel good to those who will never taste such a win because they don't have the deep pockets or the Depp pockets? <laughs> See what I did there? That's why I sit here. <laughs> I mean, how many other stories has the Washington Post published where the claims were just as false? Don't answer that. The show only lasts an hour, and I don't want to cut into evil Shannon Bream's time. <laughs> you don't know what she's like when she gets mad. It's kind of fun, actually. But you'll never know for sure, because those people weren't Depp. And the Post knows that, too, so they'll keep doing it, unless more Depps call them on their <laughs> But how many of us make $20 million a picture? Well, besides me. In the streets of New York City, danger lurks around every corner. For some, confronting evil is a part of life. But after squatting down, one man stood up with his number two. Coming this summer, Greg Gutfeld is the time-traveling buccaneer scientist mechanic veterinarian who throws his own feces at his enemies. You can see her every day at noon and every night in Jim Acosta's Nightmares. Oh, yeah. Co host of Outnumbered and former White House Press Secretary Kaylee McEnany. <laughs> Just like a great cocktail, he can shake things up and is excellent on ice. Vice President of Public Relations for Z Labs, Chris Barron. <laughs> Her voice has Guantanamo Bay inmates screaming, bring back waterboarding. <laughs> Fox News contributor, Cat Tim. <laughs> Air on And he does the limbo under the Brooklyn Bridge. My massive sidekick in the NWA World Television Champion, Tyrus. <laughs> Kaylee, welcome to the show. Always a pleasure Thank having you, you here. People don't realize you're just two offices away from me. It's so fun. One yeah, you're office. Next, yeah, you're next door to me, actually. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. So we see yeah. each other. We're like neighbors. Oh, it's yeah. Fun. Sometimes I'll steal your newspaper. Sometimes <laughs> I can hear you through the wall. Really? What am I oh, doing? Oh, yeah. Oh, you're saying all sorts of untoward things. <laughs> I won't go to HR. Don't worry. <laughs> oh, thank God. <laughs> you know, doesn't this boil down to, like, Depp is no saint. He's a mess. Yeah. Self-destructive. But his, it's self-destructive. It's not outwardly destructive. Like, that's the kind of the... I think that's the thing that people might, might have noticed between her and him, is that, like, he, like, all the stuff he does is to himself, whereas she points her stuff at him. And that, because this is on TV, we get to analyze it. So people, you know, it's not on us. It's on them for televising it. So we get to, like, finger paint with their psyche all we want. Yeah, no, very self-destructive. And, you know, if we want to choose someone to be the face of due process... Let's go with someone like, I don't know, Brett Kavanaugh, maybe, yeah. uh, instead of Johnny Depp. <laughs> that being said, um, I wish I could go back to a day where Johnny Depp was just Jack Sparrow and I didn't know who Amber Heard was. That right. was a beautiful day in my life. Um, but you make the key point, I haven't heard anyone make it yet, about having the resources to go after someone for lying about you. And as you're doing this monologue, I'm just thinking, during my tenure, I mean, Trump was lied about every day, you know, that he disparaged fallen soldiers, lie. Mm -hmm. uh, that he gassed and pummeled protesters to have a photo op at a church, lie, that's been disproven. Uh, but what's another one? There's many, many, many. He has deep pockets or debt pockets, we could say. Yes. But who has the energy to go after all of these lies? Yeah, no, in fact, I mean, in fact, I mean, I remember that he just like, he would talk about it constantly and then like everybody would just dismiss it say oh it's trump and we you know they his critics don't believe him and then they all turn out to be true later yes. you know chris you look great as usual thank you thank yeah. you thanks By to the, way, the uh, fox news that. makeup ladies they're, 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 they're the, the clutch here uh do we have to call them ladies no we don't have to but <laughs> my mom would be mad if i didn't say that what did you make of the uh uh the did you follow this closely no i, I mean i tried not to like i mean it felt like voyeuristic in like the worst possible way it could way. be except it's on tv i know but like that, that it still <laughs> felt voyeuristic in the worst <laughs> yeah. possible way but, yes, know, like, but that's on them <laughs> i know but me look, look if you're gonna leave no your TV's curtains voyeuristic. open i can watch you change <laughs> <I know. laughs> You can, but should you? Uh, yeah. Should you tell other people? Should you talk about it? That was just one night that I brought. All right, all right, all right, all right. And you do. And I, I've never wild. complained. I, yes. I, I kept quiet about it. I didn't go to HR either. Um, <laughs> no, but I, actually, I think the, an excellent point that you made and that you echoed there 
is the idea that you know, Johnny Depp is, is singularly situated to be able to fight back and not just singularly situated because of the, the wealth, because it doesn't matter if he ever works again. You know, he, he, doesn't, he doesn't have to do anything. He's Johnny Depp. He can go hang out in London with Beck and play the guitar, do whatever. Mm -hmm. Average citizens who get abused by the mainstream media have no outlet. In fact, I've got a friend of mine, Jim Worthington, who owns a gym in Pennsylvania, mm -hmm. who was called an insurrectionist after January 6th because he helped pay for buses to send people from Bucks County down to D.C. to hear the president speak at the Ellipse. He actually fought back. He actually filed a lawsuit against MoveOn.org that is pending right now. And I said to him all the time, I'm like, why are you doing this? Why are you spending all kinds of money? And he said, I'm doing it because the people out there who can't. Exactly. The people out there who have been smeared by the media all the time, who have no opportunity to fight back. That's a great story. That's a great story. I hope he wins that. Uh, I do, too. And, it's, yeah. and, and we need the, you, the point you made about where's the Washington Post in this? Where is the accountability? Where's the accountability for any of the outlets yep. that lied about President Trump? I mean, they've got you know, Pulitzer Prize, Prizes for telling lies about President Trump. No accountability whatsoever. They, we just you know, pretend like it never I'll happened. I'd see Jim Acosta sitting where Amber Heard was sitting. Wouldn't that Absol be a beautiful oh day? <laughs> then I would watch that. I would watch that. <laughs> All right, you kids. Hi, Riss. Tyrus, Tyrus, Tyrus. We don't lie around here. No. We, to, we talk, we play it We tell straight. the truth even when we lie. Even when we <laughs> lie. Exactly. What are you, any, what, what is your brain telling you? Well, first of all, I, I will always say that all women should be heard, not believed. Nice. Heard. heard. I like that. And the investigation should be respected. Mm -hmm. Right, Kat? Oh, yeah. We yeah. respect respect the investigation. The investigation. <laughs> You need to be able to have two thoughts. Probably the most frustrating thing as a man watching this is that when someone is wronged mm -hmm. to the point of how Depp was wronged, there is this argument that he shouldn't fight it because it's not fair for those who were really wronged. Right. That, when has that type yeah. of thinking ever been accepted? Mm -hmm. You know, like, I know you didn't murder your wife, Tyrus, yeah. but... somebody. Somebody else did, and if you get off, yeah. it will make other murder, you know. And I'm like, no, I still didn't do it. I'm not going to jail. <laughs> so it's the same thing. It's like hearing that it's, it's a rough, bad day for the Me Too movement because the truth was told. That's not right, and we can't have that thing. She is a liar. She doesn't represent women. She doesn't represent right. abused women. She doesn't represent anyone but liars and criminals. Mm -hmm. And we need to be able to say that. She has individually achieved this honor, and other women are not responsible for it. So I'm tired of hearing that. When somebody makes an accusation, even when, even when you fight it and you win it, you still have collateral damage. That You're never going to be the same. Yeah. You're never gonna, you say one of the things you said about John, he could still go places. I guarantee you if he didn't, Beck would have been busy. Yeah. Oh, that's, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Love you, buddy, but I'm sorry. Yeah, if he didn't do the I lawsuit. I can deal with a drunk. Yeah. I can deal with a drug addict, but I can't deal with somebody who does domestic violence. Yes, and that's, that's why, why he fought. That's why he fought. Because, and you said at the start of the, when the, the, this case was that he was willing to allow everybody to see his ugly side because that's preferable that to, be the, the, than, uh, the, to be called a monster. Yeah, exactly. Speaking of monsters, Kat. <laughs> I mean, that was you, easy. You, I'm you, getting you. my own defamation lawsuit. <laughs> Get in line. What does this say about love, Kat? It's a very fickle, strange animal. One minute you're the greatest thing ever, ever, and the next you're in court. What happens? How did this happen? I don't think this is an example of anything. <laughs> oh, like, okay. I, I just don't. I don't think. Great look. Point. I've had tumultuous relationships, mm -hmm. but they've not reached the level. Plus, I'm, I'm not a psycho, <laughs> and most women are not complete psychos who would do this. Right. I kind of hate treating this as some sort of referendum on Me Too. Right. Because it's still true that most women would not lie about violent abuse, just like most women would not take a <laughs> in your bed. <laughs> like, this... I understand why people are concerned because they say, okay, you know, this will make it harder. Because people will do this to victims sometimes. Like, oh, it was actually, you said it was this day, but it was this day. Little nitpicky things. That's not what this is. She was completely lying. Yeah. But she was completely crazy. So I think it's really important that we do not equate Amber Heard with women. Yeah. <laughs> I, I have a problem, though, with you uh, 
poop shaming her. <laughs> I mean, you're gonna start a me number two movement. Well, I think she's. I think. <laughs> It was a great that point, Cat. It that was a great you. point. I, and I then he, love when I made a really yeah. good point and then he needed to make it about diarrhea. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta shut up. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.